Hello everyone. Coming up next is a shift planner, a shift planner template in Microsoft Excel. You know, shift planners like employee schedules and stuff like that. All that is coming up next. Hello everyone, this is Rick Grantham of Small Business Champion Bundle. Today we're going to walk you through a shift planner, or basically a, an employee schedule. Now, there's a few things you need to be concerned with whenever you're looking for an employee schedule. You know, first off, the ability to highlight, or almost color code, if you would, uh, different events that are happening within the schedule. And by that I mean, can you color code all vacation time? Can you color code lunchtime and when people are going to be on different tasks so that's easily recognizable just by looking at the employee schedule. Secondly, you know, being able to create something to where it all prints on one page so that you can easily post that in the, in the work area. So the template that I'm about to walk you through uh, does all the color coding for you. It's already ready for printing and you can put in your own work tasks such as you know whether a person is doing cashier type work or if they're doing front desk and, you know or whatever the type of work or vacation or lunches that they're doing all of that can be input into the schedule so stay tuned for the next part of the tutorial hello everyone this is rick grantham of small business champion bundle welcome back to the template portion tutorial where we're going to walk you through a shift planner or, or an employee schedule. So first off, when you first bring up a template, you'll be met with this title page. We're going to skip right past the title page, assume that you know how to click on links and you know, get the free small business ebook and join our groups and all that sort of stuff. Let's go right down to the shift planner and give you an idea of what that looks like. So first off, you'll click on the tab at the bottom that says shift planner. So as we click on that, You'll see that you're, you are brought up with a shift planner, planner that looks very colorful, right? And the reason being is these are all color coded, all color coded for the type of task that people are doing. You can make, it, you know, these don't need to be as colorful as they are here, but you know, this is how the default looks. One of the things you'll notice is first off, these are, these are segmented by day. So there's Sunday, Monday, and as you scroll down, it'd be all seven days of the week. So as we scroll back up, what you'll see on the left-hand side are the names of the employees. And this template in particular is built to fit nine employees or a team of nine employees. Um, so nine employees for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc., and through a shift. Now, what you'll notice here is that in each of these different areas, you can go in and change what the task is for the person during this time. So in this case, Rick, hey, that's me. I'm on vacation, right? So I'm scheduled for vacation, and, and that's good with me. That's the place to be. However, um, because this is a drop-down menu, I can select different tasks that people would be doing. Let's say I want to schedule Rick to do some bookkeeping. The color changes to show that Rick's doing bookkeeping now for the first hour. And let's say he's doing bookkeeping for the first several hours, and we're going to move his lunch. Uh, let's say we'll have his lunch here. Have him do bookkeeping, a little cashier work, etc. So you see how this works. So there are drop down menus, and the drop down menus are there for every single day for every single employee. So, and that's all the way for every single day. So over on the right hand side, this shows the count or the total number of hours that a person has effort that they're doing some sort of work and it does include breaks or anything else that you might select here. So that's over here on the right hand side and also an opportunity to put the week of, you know, for whatever this is the week of. This is particularly important if you're printing out the schedule because this will print um, portrait style, you know, kind of long sheet. This will print all as one page so that you can, you can have all seven days for all nine employees and just go ahead and post that in the work area. You can have those side by side with the week of for each of those. So let's say you're not in the type of, uh, you don't have the type of company that does bookkeeping or the sort of options that come here as default. You know, there's not back room, you don't have cashiers, let's say you're an e-commerce business. So these defaults don't work for you. How do you go about changing those? So happy you asked. 
you come down here to the bottom, you'll see there's an area that's called Shift Planner Setup or Employee Scheduling Setup. So as you click on that, you'll see, first off, there are the instructions here. But on the left-hand side, there is an employee list where you can type in the employee list for, we'll say, nine people or so that are either in your department and you can just type in those people. So let's say instead of Rick, is what I had here before. I want to type in the word, let's say, giraffe. So that's off the wall enough to where you'll know that things change and no longer, it says giraffe now, right? And you'll also see the shift types here. Where is vacation, front desk, etc. So let's say instead of vacation, I want that now to be called, or instead of uh, almost like front desk, let's say you don't have front desk type work, instead of front desk, I want this to be called, uh, I don't know, uh, we'll call it, I don't know, floor mopping. Why not, right? Floor mopping. So you can go in, you can update all of these to things that are specific for your business. Come back over to Shift Planner now. You'll see Rick is no longer an employee, Giraffe is an employee, and that populated through every single day of the week. If you were to scroll down, you'd see every single day of the week, the first person on there is Giraffe. And one of the selections here now is floor mopping. So what this is, is an employee schedule or a shift planner that you can put in your work areas that allows you to color coordinate like activities together, put that in the work area so that people know what they're supposed to be working on and when they're on vacation, it's just easily identifiable. So this is part of the Small Business Champion Bundle. This is Rick Grantham. Right now underneath me, there should be a subscribe button. Feel free to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, we put out these templates on a regular basis. We put out small business tips. Uh, and templates and things of that nature. So feel free to go ahead and subscribe. Probably on the right hand side as well, you'll see some of our other videos. Feel free to click on those. We just put these out on a regular basis. Until next time, this is Rick Grant from the Small Business Champion Bundle.